I'm going to try and explain in layman's terms batteries there's there's a lot more complexities than I'm going to explain but to try and make you understand the difference in what does what this is a, a 6s tattoo 16,000 milliamp 15c battery which is bloody heavy it'll handle it'll deliver 240 amps which will start your car twice actually it'll start two cars at once so I'll take that one out of the way this is a 5000 milliamp zippy 20c battery the C rating is the uh, the amperage it'll actually handle so you've got 20 times 5 <laughs> 100 amps <laughs> that took a while um, so that'll handle that'll deliver 100 amps this is a 10,000 milliamp times 10 C so that'll handle 100 amps so these two batteries they're both four cell they're both the same that's got double the capacity though this is only 5,000 that's 10,000 but they'll both handle the same amperage We'll take that one out. This is the one that I use for basically everything I use now. All my planes, well, my mini talons and stuff, you know, they all use the 5000 milliamp batteries. Take them out. Then we've got the LiPo and we've got the lithium, these are lithium polymer, these are lithium ion batteries. Um, this is a an LG HG2 battery. I'm, I'm not going to do anything with that it's out of the game um, for the amperage that it actually take to the weight to the capacity and everything else it's not it's not a contender in my book so I'll take that one out this is a Samsung 25R and this is a little little la 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 20 amp um, lithium ion battery that is 2500 milliamps that's 5000 milliamps so that's double the capacity of that that peak will handle 20 amps that peak will handle 50 amps so that is more than double the power of that one or the power output of that one and it's also double the capacity so the power to size to capacity it's more than double but this thing will handle 100 amps for that one to handle 100 amps that's actually peak it'll handle 100 amps for that one to handle 100 amps peak I'll need two of those in series in parallel for that one I would need five in parallel does that make sense maybe anyway so we've got these two we'll take this one out um, I don't know these are 26650 um, batteries lithium-ion batteries and the power to weight sort of size of them is just massive I did calculations. Where's my calculations? Let's get my mouse. Calculations are um, to make a 10,000 milliamp battery, I would need four of those in parallel. I'd need two of those in parallel, and I'd need one of these. The technicality is this is actually four cells in parallel. I think it's, I don't know if it's 4S2P. I don't care. Anyway, to make 4S voltage, I'd need four of those, four of those, and one of those, or one of those. To make the current and the capacity of this battery, I'd need 16 of those, and I would actually need eight of those. The weight of a 16 pack of those would be 704 grams a, an 8 pack of those to make the same um, capacity same current is 760 grams 
that is 819 grams so immediately that one's out the game that's to actually get the nominal sort of voltage capacity and the current that one will drop off after it sort of goes down like that and then it, it drops off like that at a certain, I can't remember what the voltage was what was the voltage now? if we're drawing 20 amps um, the usable sort of voltage it goes down to 1.75 ampere hours which is nearly half the capacity of that, it's actually no, it's more than half the capacity this one drops off at four and a half, four and a half amps so you're getting more current for a hell of a lot longer so I did another calculation and please just go with me on this I'd actually need, is it 24 I'd need 24 of those to have the same current draw for the same amount of time as eight of those so the weight these power to weight to voltage in series parallel and everything else are something like I think it was 20% or 22% better than these Here's the results for the 28650 and the HG and Samsung 25R battery test. Uh, these on the right are the uh, 18650s and the ones on the left, well the one on the left is the 28650. Now this is after 123 cycles I think it is. Uh, it's taken a long, long time to do it, you know, as you can understand, but anyway. The 28650, as you can see here, I don't know if the mouse is actually showing up. Discharge at 5 amp, it's actually discharging 100.6% 100, 100 of its actual capacity. So it's 5,000, 5,034 milliamps, so it's a 5,000 milliamp battery. Now if I put it onto 10 amps, it goes down to 5188 milliamps so I'm a bit confused, I've done that twice and it's within I don't know, probably about 10 milliamps so and here's all the ones for the um, the 18650s uh, what's this one there that's actually in parallel so that's two, uh, sorry, three thousand milliamp because it is sorry, it's six thousand milliamp because it's in parallel, and I'm getting fifty-seven ninety-four, which is actually ninety-six point five percent of its capacity at five amps, and the LG, sorry, the Samsung twenty-five R is forty-nine sixty. That's a twenty-five hundred milliamp in parallel, giving five thousand milliamps, and it's actually ninety-nine point one percent. So after 123 cycles this thing is actually holding up some bloody good but this one is actually better than it was when I first cycled it and the current I mean that's at 10 amps as well I couldn't do this at 10 amps purely because of me, uh, my battery carriers they'll only handle 5 amps before they start getting a bit knackered but you know you, you get the idea of the amount of it, power that will actually draw out at 10 amps that will give you 5000 and 5181 milliamps and at 5 amps that's in parallel that will give you 4960 so if you want to build a decent battery that's going to handle God knows how many cycles. I mean, I, I lost the will to live after this. Um, this here is the volts. So you can see round about half, it's at 3 volts. That one round about half is at 3 volts. So these batteries, the 28650, what are they made by now? Lick, 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 lick. Litokala fantastic batteries 
So when I build my uh, lithium ion battery pack, I'm going to be using these. And believe it or not, they're actually cheaper than buying these things because you only need half of them. Uh, these will handle discharge, they'll handle actually uh, 50 amp burst and 20 amp constant. These things here, realistically, they'll handle uh, 20 amps burst and 10 amps, 10 amps constant. So, you want some decent batteries, these are the ones to get. Absolutely, every time. I mean, if you look at this one here, um, about halfway, so 50% 50, 50 of the way, we were talking 3.2 volts, and that one in parallel with the same current is 3 volts. So this one beats it every single time. 